for my money, and frankly, for millions of other people that used to be wrestling fans, that used to actually spend money on wrestling, that no longer do. It's not about the in-ring move set that moves the needle. It's not about the match quality and the work rate that draws eyeballs, that draws the people in to the arenas. It's about personalities. It's about charisma. It's about the ability to talk. It's the, about the ability to tell a story. It's about storylines that get people emotionally invested in part because of those other components. It's about guys being truly characters, larger than life personalities. When you look at some of the hot eras in professional wrestling history, you had a lot of those traits. And you could sit there and say, well, times change and not everybody's going to be a 300 plus pound roided up freak. That is absolutely true. And that is absolutely revisionist history and total and complete BS as to thinking that's why and the only reason why guys got over back in those previous eras. Well, yes, you had Hogan, the biggest star the wrestling business has ever seen or will ever see, and you could take your Austin arguments and shove them up your keister. You also had in his same era, a guy like Macho Man Randy Savage, who was a huge, massive star in his own right. So sure, you had the eighth wonder of the world, Andre Giant, all seven foot-ish, 500 damn pounds of him, but you also had the big John Studs of the world, and you had the Ultimate Warriors of the world, you had the Mr. Wonderfuls of the world, you had the Junkyard Dogs, you had frickin' Jake the Snake Roberts back there, you had guys like the big boss man in Sergeant Slaughter. Everybody had some type of shtick, they had a gimmick, they had a persona. Guys knew how to talk. They actually knew how to work. They didn't have to flip to get a damn reaction, get the people emotionally invested. You had great storytellers that were involved in great storylines, and so on and so forth. And guys, even if they were all bigger, there was still enough variety and spice that a lot of the guys felt unique. And that's what it comes down to. It's about being unique, and it's about being different. That's exactly what it is. And the problem with today's wrestling world, you name the company, it doesn't matter, it's all largely the same. Is so many guys look the same, they talk the same, meaning they can't talk. And they bump around all over the place in the damn ring. And part of the reason they have to bump around all over the place in the damn ring to actually try to pop the crowd at all is because they didn't bother to learn the other key components, the more important elements of being a professional wrestler. I am not here to say that the in-ring stuff doesn't matter at all. I'm not saying that. That is not what I'm saying. Again, I'm going to repeat that. That is not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is the priorities have shifted and not in a good way whereas the wrestling was kind of the blow-off to it. It was the culmination. It was the end or the plot point and movement point of a particular story. It has become largely the only thing that you have. Hence why guys aren't larger-than-life personalities. Hence why guys can't be superstars or megastars for the most part anymore. Hence why the audiences dwindled. Hence why people don't get as emotionally invested. You could argue that from a sheer athleticism and moveset standpoint, these guys do the most impressive stuff you have ever seen in today's wrestling, in the history of wrestling. That is true. And it doesn't matter. And that brings me to the whole problem here, is that none of these guys are really special anymore. And I specifically look at a guy like Ricochet, and I keep asking the question, what is so special about Ricochet? And to be fair, this should not be viewed as just a knock piece on a ricochet because the matter is I can sit there and take his name out, put any other number of guys' names in there from WWE or All Elite Wrestling or New Japan or anywhere else, and I would say, what the hell is so special about them? 
Like, you could tell that the WWE believes in Ricochet and thinks he's a really big deal. And you've got people that do videos on here like I do that talk about how great he is and how big of a deal he is and how much of a star he could be. You see some of the hardcore fans talking about how great he is and how he's going to sit there and become this big star. And I always come back to this. is What is so different about him? What is so unique about him? What is so special about him? That makes him different than literally any other hundreds of numbers of guys and gals, frankly, in professional wrestling today. The key to being a star, as much as anything else, is bringing something different and unique to the table. And Ricochet does none of that. And if you're going to say, well, he does all this spectacular crap and he does all these moves and he does all these flips, well, who the hell does it in wrestling now? That's not special or unique. And even if you say he does a little bit more, he gets a little more out of it. It is a not enough more out of it to compensate for the lack of personality, the lack of mic skills, the lack of natural draw you in and grab your attention charisma, the lack of ability to tell a story as a character, as a personality, and as an in-ring competitor. Again, Ricochet is like so many other guys that you see wrestling now. They came up and didn't bother to learn how to actually be professional wrestlers. They learned how to become crash test dummies because they lack these other discernible traits, qualities, and characteristics that can actually make huge stars. And as a result, they took the lazy way to try and get over, got over a little bit in some cases. Ricochet has clearly gotten over to a certain degree, but he will never be a superstar or a megastar. He just will not be. He will be a guy that people look at, and especially the casual and mainstream fans that ultimately matter the most in the world of professional wrestling. He will be one of those guys. What's so special about him? Click, click, click. Because there's nothing different or unique about him. Ricochet is just like guy A and guy B and guy C and guy D. Like what the hell is so fundamentally different what is truly so fundamentally different between him and the Bucks of Suck, or him and Sami Zayn, or him and this. And don't tell me Sami Zayn can talk. Don't tell me he can be a personality. He can't be any of that crap. Like, what is so different and so special about this guy? That the WWE is trying to push him big time. That I see fans on social media and doing YouTube videos talking about how great he is and this and that. What the makes him so special and so different? Nothing! I'll give you an illustration of what I'm talking about here. If you take 50 men that work out three, four times a week in the gym and you line them up next to each other, you put Charlotte Flair in the middle, nobody's going to notice anything different. They're just going to see 51 dudes. But let's say you take the Rockettes, who are all taller, long-legged drinks of water. And all of a sudden, you line up fucking awesome Kong, or even Nia Jax, dead smack dab square in the middle of that group. And they're doing their line kicks. I guarantee you, everybody's eyes are going to focus front and center and say, who's that bitch? You get what I'm illustrating here? You got hundreds of guys throughout the wrestling business, umpteen dozen guys on WWE's roster between Raw, SmackDown, and NXT that could do incredibly similar stuff, and in some cases, the same stuff that Ricochet does. And as well, lack the personality, the charisma, the mic skills, the storytelling abilities, the character to actually truly get over in a meaningful way that connects with the audience. There's nothing special about that. There's nothing unique about that. Ricochet is just a prop at this point. You can put a lot of other guys in this position and they're going to get the same type of reaction. It's not organic. It's not natural. It's not anything that they do. It's just about featuring and positioning and so on and so forth. Like when I ask people what is so special about this guy, it always comes down to this. Well, he can do great stuff in the ring. He's a great wrestler. We well, can't tell a story in the ring to save his goddamn life. And sitting there bumping around and flying around all over the place just to get your crap in doesn't make you a great in-ring storyteller. And it certainly doesn't mean you're a great wrestler. It means you're a great crash test dummy, a great stunt double, stunt devil. And that's primarily what professional wrestling has become. Like, how can you sit there and look at this? 
and think that this one guy is so infinitely different than anybody else. A guy like Braun Strowman in today's wrestling business, even if you don't like him, I don't care, that's fine. He's a 350-pound, swolled-up dude that can fucking kip up. That's different. That's unique. That's something you can sell and leave it to the WWE to ultimately screw that up. Ricochet is a dime a dozen in today's wrestling world. A dime a freaking dozen. And they get mighty tired of seeing just how much our standards for professional wrestling have been lowered to where we accept this crap and we sit there and want to push these guys to the freaking moon. I could have made an argument, frankly, back in the Attitude Era when you still had guys like the Austins of the world, The Rock, you had Mankind, you had Undertaker, you had Kane, you had The Big Show, you had freaking Kurt Angle, the even smaller guy, Chris Jericho, all of these guys, big, huge stars. And in the case of Austin and Rock, true, absolute, unequivocal megastars. And you throw Vince McMahon in there, the megastar of megastars. Now you take a ricochet and you put him into that type of environment with the stuff that he does, now you could argue he has a chance to stand out and be different and be unique because the lack of personality and charisma and mic skills and those type of things won't be as evident, won't matter as much because it will represent a counterculture to what you're seeing out of the main event and mid-card scene. But now instead what happens is the mid-card and main event scene of WWE and wrestling as a whole is filled with guys just freaking like him. So why would we complain about this guy or that guy being a world champion? It has gotten to the point because the standards have been lowered so much that it ultimately doesn't freaking matter. Because the vast majority of these guys in no way, shape, or form are even remotely over enough to a level that justifies them actually being world champions. It doesn't. It absolutely, positively freaking does not. And I wish, instead of pathetically predictable patterns of behavior that we see out of the hardcore neck beer, circle jerk, fanboy, melts or cuck wrestling audience, always pushing these same types of wrestlers into the scene, it would be nice if they got behind different types of styles of workers, different types of styles of characters and personalities, actually gravitated to freaking guys that actually had character and personality and damn mic skills. Because if they did, then maybe wrestling would be better than what the hell it is right now. But what you can't tell me is Ricochet is so infinitely better than anybody else, or even on that point, that much different than anybody else. And if you really, truly think about it, it might be uncomfortable for you. You probably hate me. Great. That means I'm probably telling you something that you don't want to hear, but more importantly, need to hear. And that's why OTR Essential is not the wrestling show you want, just the wrestling show you need. Because I'll keep it 100 with your ass, and I'm telling you right now, you know it's true. Ricochet is a jag. Just another guy. Different and unique and special. My ass.